Salutations, fellow knights at the Puzzle Beast Table. My name is Sir Hamdalai, and welcome to another episode of My Awkward Kitchen. Today, we are going to be making Kool Aid Pops. Now, what you'll need for this is this. It's very simple. Now, there's, a, there's something. All you need is a Kool Aid Bursts, some mini cups you get at like a restaurant, like for, for, for my dollar store or something. I don't know how these were anyway. But anyway. Also, you need toothpicks, but I ran out. I did not come prepared today, I'm sorry. But anyway. But anyway, I, w I did come prepared a little bit, but I didn't, not 100%. Like 99.9. Alright. So first step is to open the Kool-Aid Bursts. Carefully. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. I can't open it. Holy crap. And yes, I know what you guys are thinking. This is different from last week's setup. It's because I'm at my church. Well, my dad's work. My dad's work is at the church. Yeah. And I can't be home by myself because there are crazy people in this world. Plus my anxiety. Anyway, so now that I got the top off this, now what I want to do is pour into each serving glass, into each serving ware. About in in each one, so about three fourths of the way. About three fourths. That's good. Oh gosh, or I mean, oh you know, a little more. <laughs> now, the second one, it's the same amount. That's good. Now, this one. Can you guys see this? I don't know if you can. I don't have a good selfie camera. Matter of fact, I don't have any selfie on part of my camera. Anyway, alright. So, the next step you should do, well, you're supposed to lay them in the freezer for like an hour and then put, just a little note of advice, you might want to write this down because I don't have a visual example. You put these in a freezer for an hour, and then you put then after it, you, I would set a timer so you don't forget. And then with it, then you just take a toothpick in each one and poke it and poke it through each each and every one, and then let it freeze overnight. You got that? Okay, good. Now, now I came prepared to show you what they should look like, and at the end in that fridge, right there. But first, a word from our Kelly. Baklava. This has been a word from our Kelly. And in here, they should be done. Whoa, they look cool. Heh. <laughs> Frozen puns. I hope these are easy to take out. Like, you should be able to just. Give me. Um, I did not think this through. I don't know how to get it out of the cup. Okay, then. That happened. There we go. Perfect. Alright. I just squeezed the cup a little bit and it popped right out. Hit, <laughs> made a pun again. Ooh. Alright. Now, the taste test. My first Kool Aid popsicles made by myself. Let's see how they taste. Hopefully, my tongue doesn't get stuck to this. It shouldn't because of the humidity. I have to admit, it's pretty good actually. Like very good, holy crap. 
Hmm. I was expecting more of a sweet flavor. It's more of a... Well, it has a sweet flavor, but I was expecting more of one. But still, it's pretty good. Okay. If I had to review this, I would probably give it... Four and a half... Oh, yes! Out of five. Because, well... I was, I was just expecting a slight more of a sweet flavor, but, you know, still pretty good. Alright, so th I know this episode's shorter than usual, it's just because of my, da of my dad's work. But, you know, I have to make do. Anyway, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of My Awkward Kitchen. I was a little less awkward, actually. Do you think? I don't know. Probably just ruined it though. Anyway, if you guys if you guys like this video and you want to see more, drop the like button like you're dropping in the base. And then give you a subscribe button, the old smizzity smack. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Toods!